This presentation will discuss the development of a global drought monitor portal and its relationship to the GEO architectural implementation pilot. It will describe benefits, technical issues, and solutions being applied during the implementation. Each year, on average, drought causes 42 billion U.S. dollars worth of, worth of damage to the world economy. And just this week, an estimated 146 million people are suffering the effects of global drought. While high-impact weather events always receive media attention, it is often the insidious creeping disaster of drought that destroys food supplies and forces human migration. In 2007, at a meeting of the Group on Earth Observations, ministers from participating countries committed to establishing a global drought early warning system. The 2008 G8 summit in Japan re-emphasized this need to coordinate data sharing. In following years, the global recession delayed progress, but the concept was not forgotten. At a series of meetings in 2009, the World Meteorological Organization, GEO, and their partners began to address the global drought early warning system again. The WMO recommended which drought indicators would be most useful to include. Finally, in 2010, the U.S. volunteered to form a global drought monitoring portal, a clearinghouse for global drought indicators and information. We are utilizing the expertise and resources established during the development of the U.S. Drought Portal to provide infrastructure to develop a prototype Global Drought Monitoring Portal, or GDMP. This GDMP is a multinational effort, including drought indices developed using in situ data and augmented by remote sensing observations provided by many international partners. These will provide information about precipitation, evapotranspiration, and soil moisture. This portal will also have a drill-down capability. While the global portal will maintain global products, it will also pass stakeholders to appropriate regional, national, and local information when it is available. For example, from the global portal, a click will take users to the North American Drought Monitoring Web Portal or the European Community European Drought Observatory website. Here, users will find additional products, information, and detail at the regional or continental scale. The North American and European activities represent products and services built through agreements between the member states. Further clicking on participant countries will take users to national drought monitoring activities of that country. For example, clicking on the U.S. passes users to the U.S. drought portal. From there, drought information is available on the national scale and further drilling provides information specific to a state or river basin provided by more local authorities. This pass-through function will serve end users such as farmers, and would be a cornerstone of a fully functioning global drought portal. The Global Drought Monitor aids capacity building by fostering development of regional drought monitors, suited to the needs and resources of the region or continent, as long as interoperability with globally consistent drought indicators is maintained. The Global Drought Monitor requires the development of information technology infrastructure, like web services, and internet data transmission so that near real-time data from HydroMet services and GEO member states can be retrieved and combined into a map of current conditions. Open Geospatial Consortium web services, like web map services, will retrieve maps and data over the Internet. The GEO Architectural Implementation Pilot offers a testbed environment to develop, to develop this function, and the global water data sets being assembled by GEO's Integrated Global Water Cycle Observations Community of Practice can be added to the Global Drop Monitor. Global information developed for the portal will be based centrally where anyone can get drought information at the global scale or click through for regional or continental scale information, as well as access information at the finest scale a nation has available. This information will also be accessible through the GEO portal. The current global drought monitor includes coverage for North America, the European Union, and Africa. Plans are in development to include more members to bring about global coverage. The current coverage is brought about by developing interoperability among the North American Drought Monitor, the European Drought Observatory, and the Princeton African Drought Monitor. As an early warning system, the Global Drought Monitor can provide increased lead time to warn for emerging drought issues like wildfires or crop failures, and compare current droughts to severe droughts that have afflicted an area in the past. This will help frame the possible impacts of the current drought. The Global Drought Monitor helps everyone. Transnational coverage allows countries to see early warning signs of emerging drought, like crop failures or wildfire, and it can help manage water decisions for agriculture, which is the greatest consumer of water. In the end, this project will enhance international collaboration 
by providing an important tool for water resource management and to support sustainable agriculture and combat desertification. In the near future, we hope to have these tools in place to mitigate part of drought's global impact.